Hello everyone, welcome back to more Bionicle Heroes. In the previous episode, we did stuff. Now, we're headed over to Redax Desert again to take on the man himself. Redax Bastion. And something's blocking the way. But there he is. Are you ready? I hope so. Redax Bastion. So we start off with only one Toa that I really will use. So we blow that up. Checkpoint. Wow, already. And here he is, folks. Now question. He's drilling out of the ground. Why doesn't he use the drill? He uses the buzzsaw instead. Oh, he's flexing. It's like fight night. He's like John Cena. Or Schwarzenegger or something. Well, anyway, here we are. And he just went underground. So, usual. Kill all the enemies. This is actually a more unique fight in that you don't really ever... Hero... You're not gonna use hero mode here, really. You're just gonna wait till he resurfaces. Now, you don't have to worry if you can't find him, because usually he'll come to you. He's a very aggressive opponent. We're gonna grab these masks. Okay, yeah, there he is. See, he's he's being aggressive. He's charging right at me. He's coming right for me. But we just keep shooting away until his shield shield lowers. There he is his shield lowers. Come on, Patrick, shoot him. Patrick, okay. Kill that Vaki. And the Vaki uses Edo Tensei in Pure World Reincarnation. And revives itself. Well, we're low on health, so let's switch to a Toa that I'm never going to use. Yeah. Yeah, shoot him. Hey, kill the Vaki. Oh, wait, no, shoot him. Yes. There we go. Two hearts down. A bunch more to go. Can't be bothered to count right now. It's eight. I just counted. See, I could be bothered to count. Oh, we're getting low on health. We had two hearts, man. Two hearts. Oh, I got some health back. Whatever. Two times in a row, man. He just does not want to lower his shield. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, we just hit him, man. He's sparking. He's not looking too good. Well, he's, he's still swinging. He still is all right. Oh, he's cracking his neck. I can do that, too. And he's flexing. again. Not Jaller. Don't lose Jaller. Yeah, restore our health. Get the mask. Yay. The masks of power.
You see that explosion? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Allergies, you know? Well, that wasn't really allergies. That was just... Never mind, but the point is springtime. You know, you try to enjoy spring, but your allergies come. Now, thankfully, my spring break was allergy-free. My spring break was also many weeks ago. Like a month ago. Even more than a month ago. But that's not the point. No, my spring break was very pleasant. I hope yours were, pre were pleasant as well. Although, uh, there was that knee injury. That wasn't too fun, but... Whatever. That's what happens. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope your homework is done. I'm recording this on a Friday night. Doesn't mean it will go up on a Friday night, but... I hope you're all doing well. I got to, he just like is setting off all these nukes and stuff. Oh, we got him again. We got him. We got him. Oh, he's, he's a little grumpy. He's still doing his thing though. Oh. Oh, he's getting serious. You see that? That. Ugh. That's the power. Channeling his Nen and his Chakra into one. You know what comes out soon? I don't know. Jeez, Matoro is slow. Holy crow. Yeah, I know, I just stole that from... Never mind. We just lost the Mask of Ice. It, it set off the nukes, man. The nukes. I got the nukes. Are you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna stand there? He's setting off a nuke. Slowly walk... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, we just shot him in the back. I know that's dishonorable, but... I don't know. Who is that guy? George Patton? He's kind of crazy, but whatever. That general. He had a little philosophy about shooting people in the back. Said it wasn't really about killing other people with honor. It wasn't it wasn't about dying for your country and fighting for your country with honor. It was about making some other poor guy die for his. And he was kind of nuts though. You can look him up, George Patton. He was um Yeah, there was an incident where uh there was a soldier with shell shock and he felt that that, that that soldier had no right to be in the hospital for his condition. And, um, well, let's just say he kind of flipped out a little bit. Anyway, we're not here to talk about history. You have history class for that, or social studies, or whatever you're taking this year. It used to be social studies for me. Now it's just history, whatever the class is named. Oh, where his, oh, his arm's flying off. His arm's gone. So he's going to reattach it, right? No. He's just like, nah, man. We're gonna keep fighting. This is why I respect Redak. He's still fighting with one arm. And he's just as effective. He's like Sasuke Uchiha at the end of Naruto. Yeah, he never got the arm back. He never got the replacement. But it's very apparent that he doesn't need it. I mean, just like Redak. Redak doesn't need his arm. I mean, you look at this, he's still fighting just as effectively. I mean, he wasn't really using the Zamor launcher to begin with. All these Vizorak are flying out of his head. But anyway, he's still setting off nukes and stuff. He's doing his thing. Oh, oh he's got one heart left. One health left. One HP, whatever you want to call it. Let's go. Let's finish him. Let's put him out of his misery.
Unlock the final area to unlock, which is Zaktan. Zaktan area. We're gonna face him last, and technically he's the leader. But never mind that. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you next time. Have a good day, night, or whatever. Goodbye.